Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to show you how to do Wilcoxon rank sum test. It is a non-parametric statistical test which is equivalent to independent t-test. This is Wilcoxon's portraits, man and Whitney's portraits. Wilcoxon published this theory at 1945. Man and Whitney published the theory at 1947. Their approach was different, but the result was the same. Having said that, the Wilcoxon ransom test is the same as Man Whitney's U test. In Wikipedia, as you can see, uh, it's named as Man Whitney U test, also called as Man Whitney Wilcoxon test, or Wilcoxon ransom test, or Wilcoxon Man Whitney test. In this video, I would like to show you how to do it when there are no Thai data and with Thai data. I have prepared simple data. There are 16 observations. There are 8 observations for drug A and 8 observations for drug B. I acquired day's data for drug A and drug B. So we want to test whether drug A and drug B has same number of days or not. In our program, we can get uh, Wilcoxon rank sum test output by Wilcox.test function. The formula is score tilde treatment. And I specified exact equals first, correct equals first. So correct means uh, I don't consider any continuity correction. So uh, W, P value is main output. So I would like to show you how to get this W and P value in Excel. So let's get uh, rank data by uh, rank every function. So, uh, number, comma, and specify uh, reference, press F4, comma, and specify 1 uh, for ascending uh, order. Okay. So this is uh, rank for drug A and rank uh, for drug B. So uh, rank sum for A, we can use sum if function. Uh, range from column B here, comma, and specify criteria as A, comma, and uh, some range from column D. Yeah, and there are eight observations. Then we can calculate UA by uh, this formula. So rank sum of A minus 8 times 9 or 2. And rank sum for B, sum if range from column B here, comma, and criteria as B, and some range from column D. 8 observations and UV uh, can be calculated by rank sum of B minus 8 times 9 over 2. Okay. U uh, can be calculated by mean of UA comma UB. Right. So this is same as uh, our output. Okay, let's move on to calculate p-value. So I consider it a large number uh, theory. So when uh, there are large samples, we can consider asym uh, asymptotic uh, approximation uh, for normal distribution. So EW can be calculated by this formula. So 8 times uh, 17 over 2. Okay. Variance, this formula, 64 over 12 times 17. A plus A plus 1. Right, then Z value can be calculated by rank sum of A minus EW over square root of variance. Right, then P, uh, Z value shows negative sign, so we can use uh, standardized normal distribution. Z value here, 
we don't need to consider 1 minus because z is negative then comma and true and times 2 because we considered two-sided test right same as uh, our output so it means that we can reject neural hypothesis we can accept uh, alternative hypothesis right so rank sum of a is 43 rank sum of b is uh, uh, 93 so it means that uh, number of days for uh, drug a is uh, larger than uh, number of days for drug a right let's move on uh, to uh, when there are no uh, with tight cases so i changed the data a little bit and there are two cases for tight data right 80 80 and 76 and 76 it has uh, average rank as 10.5 and 7.5 all right so same uh, formula uh, so i want to show you how to get w and p value in excel again same formula for rank sum for a range comma and criteria is a and some range from here eight observations and u a is rank sum of a minus eight times nine or two rank sum of b sum if uh, range from column b here comma and b comma some range from column d right and eight observations for uh, drug b uh, ub is equal to rank sum of b minus eight times nine over two right then u is mean of ua comma and UB right yeah. 4.5 4.5 right uh, let's move on uh, also let's cal uh, calculate p value here so EW is 8 times 17 over 2 have this formula right variance formula is a little bit different so we need to consider these uh, cases for tight uh, rank data so there are two uh, tied cases okay so 64 over 12 times n plus n plus 1 equals 17 minus uh, t1 equals 2 uh, okay so 2 times uh, 3 over n plus 1 n plus n equals 16 times 15 right uh, we have another case so minus 2 times 3 over 16 times 15 okay then the z value is equal to W minus E W minus square root of uh, variance. All right. Then p value on the s dot t i s t specify z comma and true times two because we consider two sided test. All right. So this is same as uh, this one. So the interpretation is same. So uh, we can reject neural hypothesis and drug B, uh, number of days for drug B is less than uh, number of days for drug A. All right, we covered, uh, today we covered Willie Coxon uh, rank sum test. I hope it was useful for you to understand Willie Coxon rank test, which is same as man Whitney U test. Please click like and subscribe. Uh, please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.